Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge development about FL shooter after his major cash fund details comes out. In the week since the shooting in Parkdale, Florida took place, there's been little publicized about shooter Nicolas Cruz's actual motive and why countless calls to authorities went unchecked. We've learned little about this killer, other than that he had been expelled from the school he later used for his deadly attack, and recently suffered the sudden loss of his adoptive mother. His mental instability was documented in reports that seemingly didn't receive any action other than filed paperwork. There seems to be a lot of miss about this situation that appears to have enough warning signs to have been prevented. Cruz and his 17-year-old brother Zachary Cruz were both taken in by Roxanne Deschamps, who was said to be a family friend of the boy's adoptive mother, Linda Cruz. Both brothers lived with Deschamps in a trailer home until she kicked Nicolas out, but let his brother stay. It's been reported that Deschamps didn't want Nicolas' guns in her house and gave him the ultimatum that either the guns go or he does. Not wanting to give up any firearm he had accumulated within a short time leading up to the boot, he was kicked out. Now some financial information in this situation has just come out. The New York Post reports that a source close to Deschamps revealed that she allegedly took $2,900 from Nicolas before she booted him to figure out where to go on his own. However, the funds didn't end there, nor did her alleged plans for cashing in extensively more after what she did on the day of the shooting was discovered. In the midst of the horror and unfathomable reality unfolding caused by the kid Deschamps had living in her home, it seems strange that within 24 hours, Cruz's former caretaker who had kicked him out would be concerned about his inheritance. Upon hearing what he did, she took immediate action. The woman left in charge of the accused Florida school shooter and his brother after their mom died last year filed court papers the day after the massacre seeking to be put in charge of the dead woman's will, then had the alleged shooter's brother involuntarily committed, a source close to the family revealed to the Post. What she did after filing the paperwork to oversee the reported $800,000 is raising some questions among people questioning her intentions. On Friday, two days after the massacre, it was reported that Nicolas' younger brother still living with Deschamps was taken into custody, involuntarily and submitted to a mental hospital. It was assumed by some at that point that authorities weren't taking any chances of something else happening. It seemed that authorities had credible reason to get the killer's brother some help as he was either a possible harm to himself or others. While his mental status has not been stated, the Post reports that it was Deschamps who called to have him taken into custody. As his caretaker and using obvious reasons to question his stability, Deschamps was in a position to ask for his admission into the mental hospital, before he became a legal adult just a week later. Perhaps there were legal reasons why she needed to secure this boy's inheritance in a timely manner, given the major circumstances. It's unknown if Deschamps could personally take in any of this inheritance cash should she be granted as the executor of the late Linda Cruz's estate, however, there's a good possibility she could, in some way, given that there was no will. According to the New York Post, if the petition is granted, she would be responsible for settling Linda's debts and doling out the kid's inheritance. Linda did not leave a will, and the petition file does not indicate what her estate is worth, records show. A family who took Nicolas and said he stood to inherit $800,000 on his 22nd birthday following his mom's death. Cruz told them he believed Deschamps was trying to steal his inheritance. If Deschamps' petition is granted, she could charge the estate a fee for settling it for the kids, though that fee would be subject to a judge's review, according to Florida probate lawyer Robert Wolf, who was not involved in the case. Deschamps filed the petition on the grounds she is caring for a 50% minor beneficiary, Zachary according to court papers. But the source said Deschamps was the one who had Zachary involuntarily committed on Friday. The state cannot hold minors for observation more than 12 hours unless there is a medical reason. It is unclear if he has been released. Deschamps had six months from Linda's November 1 death to file the petition, and her attorney Audra Simovitz called the decision to file the day after the slaughter appropriate. Until proven otherwise, it's hearsay that Deschamps took $2,900 from Nicolas before kicking him out. However, the paperwork she filed immediately after the massacre for control of the estate and funds is proven. If the $2,900 cash withdrawal is proven along with validation that Nicolas meant what he allegedly said that she was trying to steal his inheritance, people might question if she's capitalizing on this tragedy by cashing in this way. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.